Louise Hazel. Her uh, heart rate up a little bit tonight from 57 resting. Uh, what is our heptathlete going to achieve? There. She set herself very well from the from the bar at the top. Coming to the takeoff, she did sit slightly back. So when she took off, she was falling back. She was very, very lucky to hold on to that. But it was a good jump. OK, so Louise, how are you feeling? Well, I reckon that's probably my best jump ever. OK. Off that middle. Yeah, definitely. Um, Mike, Mike said, she's beat me, she's beat me. I mean, I'm just lucky I squat because I needed those strong legs at the bottom there. I was sitting me down, but Let, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Now, earlier, Mike jumped 16.5 metres, beat that, and you are through to tonight's final jump. Let's reveal your distance. <laughs> which means it is a tie. No. So what happens in this case is that we then take the results of the ski cross. Um, we're not quite ready with those results yet. Um, I, I suppose you guys know the results. I can remember. Okay, okay. Time, okay. Like, don't say anything. Let, don't say anything. So let's see. Let's reveal the times for the ski cross. <laughs> Mike, your it time is. was 23.56 seconds. So, Louise, in order to stay in the competition, you need to beat that. 23.56 seconds to be safe. 27.9 seconds. You are safe. Mike, still in the competition. Yeah, need to get better. Just though. gotta wait and see. Need to get Just gotta wait and see. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Louise and Mike. <laughs> Chloe Madeley in lane two, Louise Hazel in lane three. There's no way I'm jumping, guys. Chloe Madeley oh! down for the second time, nearly took Louise out. It's not all over yet though. <laughs> 